if you've spent any time at all with element time, you might have realized by now that every hour, in fact, every minute of payroll has to get tracked back to a job. What we want to do is make sure that we're accountable and we can account for every hour that we pay our staff. That leads to one of the biggest questions we get at LMN, which is what do I do about time spent not at customer jobs, for instance, driving or setting up at the yard and loading? The answer for this kind of stuff is really simple. You simply create a job, but the job isn't actually a paying customer. The job is your own company. So create a job, for example, called shop. In fact, LMN even comes shipped with one when you buy LMN. The shop job might have tasks that pertain to unbillable activities. Here I've decided to break my unbillable time down by the following categories, loading, unloading, and driving, yard and equipment maintenance for cleanups and work around the yard, miscellaneous deliveries and pickups for when we're running around doing deliveries that weren't estimated on jobs, and then another one for meetings, safety, and any other miscellaneous time. So what I'm doing here is I'm classifying my unbillable time by these four categories. So anytime an employee needs to get paid for working, let's say setting up and loading his truck in the morning, he's going to get in in the morning and clock under this shop job under loading, unloading, and driving. The benefit of this, at the end of the year, we'll know exactly how many hours we spend loading, unloading, and driving, doing maintenance, pickups, in meetings, etc. You might even want to create two shop jobs, one for your construction division and one for your maintenance division, or in fact, any number of different divisions, if you want to track your downtime by division. It'll help you estimate as it'll dial in your unbillable hours for each one of those divisions. Let's take a look at what that would look like for the crew. On their timesheet, they're just going to clock in just like any other day and job. When they click add a job in the morning, instead of going to, as they might normally, a customer job, they're going to pick that office job that you set up. Once the foreman picks the employees and the crew that day, they're going to clock into loading, unloading, and driving while they load their trucks. And it's that simple. Just like any other job, we've clocked into the shop. They're going to get paid for these hours, but these hours aren't going to get clocked back to a particular customer. Now, this only works if you don't estimate loading, driving, and delivery time into your jobs. If your estimated hours includes drive time, or set up time in the morning, especially for construction, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your crews clock into that job the minute they start their day. Because if you estimated loading and drive time into that job, you wanna make sure that the actual hours are tracked back to the job. That way you're gonna get an apples to apples comparison of estimated hours versus actual. But if when you're estimating a job, you don't factor in morning loading and driving to the site, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure the crews track their unbillable time like we just showed you. Set up a shop job, create some tasks on that shop job to divide your unbillable time if you want, and then make sure your crews clock into that job for any hours that don't directly relate to a customer estimate or job.